On the high security Miami Island community known as Billionaire's Bunker, you can now pay in Bitcoin for this $59 million mansion. Let's check it out. The original home will be demolished and replaced with a tropical modern playhouse, something more befitting of a modern day Bitcoin billionaire looking for a statement property. It's scheduled to be move in ready in little over a year from now. The new construction mansion is 16,000 square feet with 12 bedrooms and 13.3 bathrooms. Not sure what point three means exactly, but if anyone knows, leave it in the comments below. I'm guessing it means just a toilet with no sink. Or better yet, just a pot to, well, you know what in. Or I wonder if it's a urinal. That would be convenient. Anyway, this mega mansion will feature 12-foot ceilings, a club room, a chef's kitchen, media room, gym studio, infinity pool, naturally, and tanning beds perfectly positioned to watch the sunrise and sunset of Miami. The waterfront backyard boasts 134 feet of bay frontage, dockage for yachts up to 110 feet, tropical landscaping, and the specs just look amazing. The home is made up of modernist glass, wood, and concrete on a one and one quarter acre lot, with architecture and interiors designed by legendary Miami Lux design house Kobe Carp. The spec home also features a four car luxury garage. It's unknown whether it has an actual safe room bunker in the home itself, but the community itself is safe enough. Indian Creek is a 300-acre island of fewer than 40 homes, with its own police force and golf club. It is known as a billionaire bunker for its wealthy and high-profile residents, who include Enrique Iglesias, Tom Brady and Giselle, Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner. The residence at 37 Indian Creek Island Road is listed by Dina Goldentair and Douglas Elliman and will be moving ready within 18 months, so they say. For roughly 1,903 Bitcoin at today's conversion rate, you can live in this sprawling mansion on Indian Creek Island on Biscayne Bay on the backside of Miami Beach. Developer Todd Michael Glaser bought 37 Indian Creek Island Road from TV personality Don Francisco last summer for $24 million. When asked why he decided to accept Bitcoin for this project, Glaser said, If Gucci accepts Bitcoin, then Todd Michael Glaser will too. Gotta love the fact that he talks in the third person. Bitcoin's value has dropped 50% from its recent record high amid a volatile time for the currency. However, Glacier sees this as a potential upside for the listing since crypto holders may be looking to buy hard assets. Regardless of crypto, this mansion is in one of the most exclusive, secure, and celebrity-saturated residential communities in America, even more so than the Hamptons and Palo Alto. As for the price of living there, if it had its own zip code, it would be the most expensive as well, with most properties now selling for more than $40 million. Indian Creek is comparable to saint jean cap Ferré in the south of France or Field Point Circle in Connecticut. Each estate is unique and magnificent in its own right. Any address here signifies prestige, success, and exclusivity. 37 Indian Creek Island Road, the island's newest listing, which is currently on the market for 59 milli, will set a new ceiling shattering bar despite Indian Creek's already hefty price tag for privacy. Miami's luxury real estate market is booming right now, so there's a good chance it will sell for even more than that. Indian Creek Island currently only has 40 residents, many of whom already pay millions annually for privacy and security everywhere else they go, so why not have the same secure feeling at home? They definitely get privacy on the island. Only a two-lane gated bridge with armed guards provides access to the roughly 300-acre island. 
Likewise, the island is guarded around the clock by a 13-person police and marine force to deter tourists and paparazzi who watch videos like this one and realize this is their best shot to get a glimpse of Tom Brady and Giselle, who recently spent $17 million on the island for a teardown estate. If you buy this massive mansion, you'll also have neighbors such as billionaire investor Carl Icahn and dozens of other a-listers and titans of industry could soon be your pals at Miami's most coveted address. In addition to having fewer members than Augusta National, Indian Creek Country Club occupies the entire center of the island, ensuring that no new development will ever be possible. So yeah, I said it once, I say it again, it's exclusive. The Indian Creek Country Club has only about 300 members. To get in, an applicant needs a member sponsor or a seconder and five letters of reference from close associates. Initiation is currently about $60,000. Annual dues are about $8,000. The stately looking club with a red tiled roof is allowed by law to turn anyone away that they wish. Florida law allows a club with fewer members than 400 to exclude whomever they wish. The uber exclusive 18 hole golf and country club has a small community of members featuring some of the country's wealthiest elite. The par 72 course was designed by William S. Flynn in 1930. In addition to the original tees that measure a modest 6,600 yards with a mix of long and short holes, the course's variation coupled with the simplicity and subtlety of its design are what makes Indian Creek Country Club so special. Those who are fortunate enough to tee off at Indian Creek will immediately know that the course is well kept from all sides. Ron Force and Jim Nagel redesigned the course. The result is a unique layout with fantastic holes. Indian Creek has existed mainly off the radar, but the club remains one of the most sought after golf courses in the country. Built in an Italiante style, the clubhouse has numerous terraces and loges overlooking the golf course and bay. There is also a marina on site, as well as a large swimming pool, a massage and steam room, locker rooms, a bridge room, and a fitness center. As for the buyer, they must be patient as it will be a while before they can move in. Its massive size also requires a lot of friends and grandchildren, possibly a large family or a Bitcoin bachelor with an extended entourage would be attracted to this private enclave. Also, the buyer would have to be someone who loves modern architecture since Kobe Carp's design is an embodiment of Miami's ultra-luxury modernist movement. Considering the property's location and potential clientele, Glacier agrees that it couldn't have been done any other way. In the near future, 37 Indian Creek will either sell on blockchain or the traditional way. It could be the most expensive real estate purchase ever made in cryptocurrency as Forbes first reported. The record is currently held by a penthouse in nearby Surfside, which was bought by an unnamed buyer last year for $22.5 million in crypto. The art by Antonio Sidero penthouse is on the ninth floor of the 12-story building. This 5,067 square foot penthouse has four bedrooms and four bathrooms. Its standout feature is its 2,960 square foot terrace with oceanfront views. Art has not released the name of the buyer or the cryptocurrency that the buyer paid for the deal, but the building's developers believe they are in the throes of a radical shift in the real estate market. Art offers indoor and outdoor swimming pools, rooftop tennis courts, a gym, a yoga studio, along with a sauna, steam room, and beachfront meditation pond. There is also a children's playroom, a catering kitchen, and temperature-controlled parking. A car can get pretty hot in Miami, I get it. A wraparound terrace offers 360-degree views of the ocean. It has four bedrooms, a powder room, four bathrooms, a wine bar, and massive walk-in closets. The owner is anonymous, but the blockchain settled arrangement took less than 10 days to settle, and the digital asset used 
has not been disclosed yet. So, the aforementioned $59 million Indian Creek Island waterfront mansion in Miami's billionaire bunker could become America's most expensive Bitcoin real estate deal ever, as long as crypto doesn't go to zero.